Justice League International number 12, written by Dan Jurgens, art by Aaron Lepresti. Last issue left off with pretty much the end of an arc, but we did have Lightweaver, a villain, dying in his brother's arms and then passing his powers on to his brother. This issue picks up and is basically just wrapping up that loose thread. So we're at a cemetery in Russia. We are obviously having the uh, funeral of Rocket Red, who died like four issues ago. And we have Batman dodging a whole bunch of Lightweaver's blasts. I'm just going to call the brother Lightweaver because he has the powers and I forget his real name. So, yeah, Batman's jumping around, dodging all the shots there. And he's basically just trying to tell the brother, like, hey, we didn't kill your brother. Like, he died because of a military strike because he was murdering people in, like, Washington, D.C. Your brother was a terrorist. And he died completely independent of us. And the brother's just like, shut up, you killed Malcolm, how dare you? So at this point, we get a little bit of a flashback and we see uh, the entire team is entering into the graveyard. Batman is hiding off in the shadows, doesn't want to be seen here. And they're basically just saying like, man, Rocket Red died. This is, we have to honor him. We had to skip the actual funeral, like the state one, because... We'd just be distractions if we were there, but we still have to pay our respects to our, our fallen comrade. And they Zoom call in Vixen and Ice, who are still in the hospital, and Fire's still in a coma. And they're like, hey, yeah, we're, we're, we're all here still, even after the UN shut us down. And Booster's doing the whole thing where it's like, man, I, I did everything they wanted. I, did, I, I saved the day these times, but they still shut us down, and now what? And August General's like, Booster... Shut up. Just just shut up, man. Like, Rocket Red died for our cause. Clearly we're going to keep doing the Justice League thing. So let's just not pretend like we're not going to do it. Like, we're just going to do it on our own terms. And Booster's like, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we're not going to quit. Just like Rocket Red didn't. And then Lightweaver steps out, or the brother does. And... At that point, Batman's like, oh, I might need to come out of the shadows for this one. As he starts firing off his light powers at everybody and basically takes them all out for at least a little bit. So then Batman comes in and we basically catch up with where we opened the comic. Except now Batman has gotten the upper hand. He's throwing some technology at Lightweaver, which takes him out. And he's like, hey, your brother made all the wrong choices. He was an absolute dick. He was, as I said earlier, a terrorist. You do not have to become that. You can be better. Would your brother want you to make these choices with your life, or would he want you to be better? And at that point, the brother's like, I just wanted to avenge his memory. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. And then the rest of the JLI show up, and they're like, hey, Batman, what are you doing here? Anyway, yeah, no, kid, we get it. You're grieving. We're all grieving. This has been a tough time for everybody, but... um, Don't be a terrorist, to which the kid's like, yeah... I see the error of my ways now. And they're like, cool. All right, we're not going to charge you with anything, so get out of here. And the kid just leaves. And then Booster chimes up and he's like, you know what? Now that that's settled, let's let's go ahead and make our team. We're not going to quit. We might have to meet at the local burger shop, though, because we don't have a base anymore. To which Batman chimes up. He's like, hey, I bought this facility in D.C. You can use it for whatever you want. But um, no more Bat characters are on Justice League International. Got it? And then Batwing, who's there, is like, yeah, no, I got my own book, so bye. And they're like, no, that's fine. Uh, is everyone else staying on the team? And Omac raises his hand, and he's like, I only showed up so I could get fixed by Batman. And Batman's like, yeah, no, 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 just stay on the team for a while, and I promise you I will get to you. You are somewhere on the list. So then Booster turns to Guy and is like, hey, you've always had problems with the team. Are you going to be staying? And he's like, you know, Booster... You kind of made a good leader, so I guess I'll stay. And so Godiva takes Booster's hand because I guess they're dating now or something. And he's like, well, the future belongs to those who claim it. That's coming from a time traveler, so you know it's the truth. And then they're all headed off to Washington for their brand new adventures. And this is the last issue, save for the annual coming out the end of the month so i don't even know why we're doing that i can understand tying up the loose thread of the white light weaver thing that makes total sense to me why are we introducing this new base the book is over we're not like we have the annual why are we setting up as if they're going to have more adventures like okay if they show up up in other things i can accept it then 
but it really seems like they're trying to do like a pivot into a new era of the team but like no the book is done fire is still in a coma i hope that gets resolved that's the last little dangling plot thread i want to see resolved so yeah it's okay it's fine i think my biggest issue is the fact of while it does feel it has a sense of finality to it it also just opens up this new thing and you're like but like we know you're done the book is over the end save for the annual that little asterisk is on this always so i don't know i guess what well, i can't judge it too harshly until i see the annual and see whether or not they're going to leave more plot threads dangling but this one it's fine it's okay my biggest qualm about it is that it is just kind of a necessary chapter this didn't part me with any sort of emotional anything it didn't like do anything too huge it was just like yep we had to go to the funeral of our friend because we kind of just forgot that that happened and never actually dealt with it so yeah it was it was a necessary chapter and by that standard it was fine but it wasn't anything great so overall i'm going to give this one a six uh art by aaron lepresti also perfectly fine occasionally a weird face but for the most part i followed the action i followed the movement everything and some panels did look good so yeah just a just an average book all around